Hey everyone, so today's video is kind of the start of a new series I want to do on this channel. This is the A to Z of films, where quite simply I watch and review films alphabetically. So in this video I'm talking about three films, one for A, one for B and one for C. And I will continue it this way. I did actually try and do this about two, three years ago and I got to A and stopped. Not sure what happened there, but we will see how far we go with this. And if you do have any suggestions for D, E and F, do let me know as I'm very open to suggestions for this series. So the first one is a bit unfortunate as we're starting on quite a negative note. This is The Angriest Man in Brooklyn. This was bad for two reasons. One, it's just not a very good film. It's about a man who finds out that he, well he thinks he has 90 minutes to live. And he's not a very nice man, he's very angry and he's very quite an aggressive man. And he spends these 90 minutes trying to round everybody up that he loves and making amends and things. Um, but obviously it doesn't go to plan because otherwise it would be a pretty simple film. But what I didn't like about this is that I just didn't think it flowed very well, it wasn't very exciting, the pacing wasn't great. And then we have Robin Williams. This was one of his last films and there was nothing wrong with him as an actor in this. Of course there wasn't. But to me, he doesn't fit that kind of character. And it was kind of hard to watch in that sense. There was a suicidal element to this character which was impossible to watch um, for, for obvious reasons. But I just don't think it was a fitting film for him for this to be one of his final roles. Just a little bit disappointing and I did not enjoy the film at all. Bit of a weird one for B, we have being John Malkovich and in this one there is a door and a corridor down which you go and then you are actually in the head of the actor John Malkovich and you can see things as him and that starts to become stronger and then our, our characters start to be able to control him and our main character is actually a, a struggling puppeteer who is not very uh, successful in his career and he decides that he could maybe play this whole looking through John Malkovich to his advantage and obviously there's a lot of complicated things going on. And also, how is that Cameron Diaz? I was watching it thinking, oh Cameron Diaz is in this, when is she coming on screen? That was her. Mind blown. But it, it, it is a good film, it's not laugh out loud funny, but I think it's creative and intricate and the story is quite nice and certainly nothing like what I'd seen before, so I would definitely recommend it. Third and finally we have Clueless. This is a quite a popular film, many people have seen it, I hadn't. Ordinarily this wouldn't be my kind of film, um, definitely more of a teenage girls film than anything else. But I thoroughly, thoroughly enjoyed it. What makes it different is that the most popular girl, in, well one of the most popular girls in school, who is our protagonist, isn't cliche. She isn't a stereotype in many ways, which is really quite interesting. And it's all about her trying to find love and find a boyfriend but also helping a new student. I think Brittany Murphy as Ty is, is fantastic, really, really wonderful character, wonderful actress in this, very captivating. And it's also a very funny film but it's also surprising and that's what got this for me. I enjoyed it most because it was quite surprising and certain characters reacted differently to what I was expecting. And also, Elisa Donovan is fantastic. Her character Amber is, she has the best, but also the worst, fashion sense, just the best hairstyles. It's, it's rather interesting. So not a great start, but B and C were really good. If you do have any suggestions for D, E and F, let me know and I'll speak to you all soon. Bye.